Achilles tendon rupture. This injury is when the tendon is stretched past its maximum elasticity and it tears. This can be a partial tear or a complete tear. This injury can happen by a repetitive or sudden increase of the stress or pressure on the tendon and happens either suddenly with no warning or due to Achilles tendonitis. Here's an example of this injury happening from basketball. When the tendon tears, patients often hear a loud pop and will feel the following symptoms. Pain, inability to move the ankle without causing more pain. Some patients often feel a numb feeling in their toes, like pins and needles. A bystander or the first medic to the scene would notice the signs of this injury by seeing the patients clutch their ankle at the back of their foot. They will also notice swelling around the back of the foot and the inability for the patient to walk. Immediately, medics on the scene will ensure that the patient doesn't walk on it and then will give the patient painkillers to reduce pain. Rice will then be followed, rest, ice, compression, elevation. No harm will also be followed for the next 48 hours, meaning no heat, no alcohol, no running and no massages. Then the patient will be taken to the hospital. Doctors will then assess the injury using the Thompson test. This test consists of using the doctor to press the patient's calf and the foot should reflex straight. If the injury is a complete tear of the tendon, the foot will not flex at all. Then doctors will perform surgery in which they will pull the tendon together, stitch the tendon back and then close the wound. The patient should then be in a cast for 6 to 12 weeks before being reassessed. Thank you for watching.